by the deliberate silence from the National Coalition Center of the Electoral Commission of Ghana for over 15 hours. The youth of Ghana have voted overwhelmingly for a new leader. Yes. The youth of Ghana have decided who their new leader should be. Yes. And the youth of Ghana overwhelmingly voted for Nana Dodankwa Ekufuara. <laughs> The youth have spoken, and we will not accept massaged results that will trickle in after 15 hours of silence. Again, since polls closed 5 p.m. yesterday, votes have been counted at the polling stations, collated, and in most cases, announced at the various constituency coalition centers for both presidential and parliamentary elections. Media houses have put out declared results at both the polling station and constituency coalition centers for both presidential and parliamentary elections. At 6 a.m. today, nearly 94% of the NPP's official copies of the EC statement of poll and declaration of results, results forms, commonly known as pink sheets, had been received and recorded by our collation centers across the country. I want to repeat, at 6 a.m. today, nearly 94% of the NPP's official copies of the EC statement of poll and declaration of results forms, commonly known as pink sheets, had been received and recorded by our collation centers across the country. We are also fully aware that a similar percentage of pink sheets had been received and collated by the Electoral Commission of Ghana at its constituency collation centers nationwide. Curiously, the Commission is telling the general public that it is yet to receive, until just some few minutes ago, any collated results from the 27275 centers nationwide. This is curious because even in the absence of the e-transmission in the past, the Commission was faster and more efficient in receiving and acknowledging receipts of faxed summary sheets of results from its regional offices. So far, the National Coalition Center claims it has received only one official result for the presidential election out of the 275. This is baffling because in more than two thirds of the 275 constituencies across the country, the returning officers have officially declared the results for the elections of members of parliament, which per the EC's own training manual for its returning and collation centers and collation officers must only be collated counted and declared after presidential results from the pink sheets, from the pink sheets that are collated. Across Ghana on radio stations and on social media, Ghanaians are asking where are the results? What is causing this unusual delay? There has not been a single explanation from the commission. We have posed this question at the National Coalition Center but I've not received any satisfactory answer from the Electoral Commission led by Madame Charlotte Osei. In the growth of our democratic dispensation, this has been the first time in at least 16 years that election results have unduly delayed in this manner. First time in 16 years of our democratic dispensation. It raises suspicion. It creates unnecessary tension across the country. It creates unnecessary discomfort among the youth of Ghana, in which we are trying to even help restrain them, and suggest that the commission, this suspicion, it gives people the cause to suggest that the commission may be attempting to overturn the clearly expressed mandate of the majority of the Ghanaian people and the youth of Ghana through the ballot box. No way. This, no way. this is unfortunate, and we are calling on the Electoral Commission 
to clear all doubts by simply getting on with it. We know what they have received through their fax machines, and they correspond with what the NPP has received. Yeah. What they gave to us at the polling station is what was also faxed to them. So nobody can turn six into nine and can turn our dancing into mourning. Okay. Again, we are also aware that tel the telecom companies, the telecommunication companies who were awarded the contract to the zoning structure also started faxing, also started transmitting their results to the EC around 10 p.m. last night until they were called on to stop. We ask because we know. And again, we believe that we are all stakeholders in this enterprise, Ghana. And we deserve an explanation from the commission. It is our hope, and indeed that of the overwhelming majority of Ghanaians, and Ghanaian youth in particular, that no machinations will be employed to frustrate the change so decisively delivered on Wednesday, 7th December. From declared results at the constituency level alone, we can provisionally say that the NPP has won a clear parliamentary majority with a minimum, and I repeat, with a minimum of 149 seats. No threat of machinations can change this. <laughs> to bring further transparency into the process, the NPP is prepared to share its data and analysis of the data and results with the general public. The relevant information may be assessed later today on www.newpatrioticparty.org and www.ekufuado.org. Currently, out of the 27,577 of the pink sheets declared at each polling station and submitted to our collation centers nationwide by this morning, I repeat, and for, for the avoidance of doubt, the figures. Currently, out of 27,577, 27, representing 94.23% of the pink sheets declared at each polling station and submitted to our collation centers by this morning, our presidential candidate, Nane Kufuado, had the commanding lead of 53.79% to John Mahama's 44.43%. These translate into 5,441,642 votes for the NPP presidential candidate and 4 million. 497,477 for the NDC candidate, a clear difference of 944,165. Wow. This, this, ladies and gentlemen, is what we, clear, what we call a clear non regable margin. No numerical gymnastics that will be employed by a South African IT expert or Israeli IT expert can undo the sovereign mandate that the Ghanaian people want Shout to entrust Shout to the care of the NPP. Again, with only 1,690 pink sheets yet to be recorded from our center, I repeat, with only 1,690 pink sheets yet to be recorded, mostly from marginal polling stations, that's even if all the votes there are, and awarded to the incumbent NDC candidate, the provisional result will not be overturned. So we hasten to stress that any attempt to delay the in inevitable will needlessly disturb what has been, by and large, a peaceful and democratic exercise of the will of the people. We believe all the political parties undertook their own parallel voting tabulation, and we suspect it was from that that the presidential candidates of the PPP Dr. Papa Kwesindu took the honorable and took the honorable decision and responsible decision to concede and congratulate the NPP candidate, Nane Kukwa. We say I equal to the PPP.
compare our provisional results, it is absolutely clear that the NPP has won a landslide victory. This is apparent from the parliamentary results so far announced. We have at least gained an additional 47 new seats across the country. And the breakdown, the breakdown is as follows. Greater Accra, so far the NPP from what has been collated and given to us, the NPP has won 20 seats, that's gained six seats to what we had previously. Wow. Then in the Western region, in total, the NPP has 18 seats. That means we have gained additional 10 seats from the Western region. Central region, the NPP has 18 seats so far. That means we've gained additional of 11 seats. Eastern region, the NPP has, the NPP has 28 seats and a gain of one seat. The Ashanti region, the NPP has 44 seats, a gain of one seat. In Puno Ahafo region, the NPP has 20 seats per hour resource, a gain of seven seats. Northern region, the NPP so far, what we've recorded, collated and given to us, the NPP has won 14 seats and a gain of four seats in the northern region. Wow. In the Upper East so far, the NPP has three seats and a gain of two seats. In the Upper West, the NPP has five seats, a gain of five seats, because we had zero and we've won five. This means that from what, this means that the NPP in yesterday's race so far, and I want to put it on record, this means that the NPP in yesterday's race won at least 170 seats out of the 275 seats in Parliament. These are the objective facts. These are not our results, but this is what was given to us at the various coalition centers across the country by the Electoral Commission, led by Madame Charlotte Osei. All the pink sheets in the possession of the NPP, based on which the presented results have been collated, are the pink sheets issued by the Electoral Commission and signed by their authorized representatives and also of all political parties across the country including presiding officers and returning officers. We are by this press conference appealing to Madam Charlotte to say that in the interest of our country, in the interest of the youth of Ghana, in the interest of the peace and stability of our country, just as Nane Kufuado did for President Mahama after the presidential petition, and just as we also did in 2008 for Professor Mills, we believe that we should not unduly create tension in the system. What the EC has received through its fax system and what they also gave us at our various polling stations, this is what should be out there. Not, not activities of people, of foreigners, IT experts who have been employed and engaged by whoever he, 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 within the powers that be to change the sovereign will of the people. Again, again, we are also by this press conference calling on the Electoral Commission of Ghana led by Madame Charlotte Osei, to do her very best to stop this delay and get going and get going with the receipts of results from the presidential elections. We remain, we remain, we remain committed to a credible and peaceful elections and will ask all other major stakeholders to exhibit sincerity and professionalism in maintaining these important principles. Again, to the youth of our country, you spoke yesterday. You took the risk to travel 13 hours, 14 hours. You took the risk to even board tomato uh, trucks to your destination, charcoal trucks to your destination. To students who had their examinations on the 8th of December and 9th, you still took the risk to travel 19 hours, 13 hours of, of your journey just to cast a ballot for change. And in, in these times, I also sympathize and we share in your pain, we share in your anguish, we share in your anxiety. Whilst we call on the youth of our country to remain calm, we also believe that the Electoral Commission has a responsibility to help foster the peaceful coexistence that we have in our country. Elections, as the NDC, they've always said, should not be a do or die affair. The Patriot, as Nane Kufuado said, the Patriot in President Mahama should also let him put the interest of our country
before any parochial personal interest. And again, to the youth of our country, you have made our nation, our generation proud. Whilst we wait on the Electoral Commission in the next few hours to help restore sanity in the process, we believe that you deserve and have every right to put on your white garment yes, because you have stood up. Oh, oh, in, conclusion, in conclusion, we urge the EC to come out and announce the results they have received and given us copies and also declared by its own officials across the country and allay the anxiety of a nation desirous of change that has voted overwhelmingly for it. My brother, my sister, nobody will tell you that pain is, is a sweet uh, apple. Pain is always a bitter pill. But for every politician, just as Fernando and the NPP we've always maintained, you have to take the high with the low. And we believe this time, we have been in opposition for eight years. We have watched our NDC friends display vulgar opulence and gross arrogance. But in all this, we believe that the ballot box was the only way to register our dissatisfaction and kick them out. Just as we waited eight years for them, we believe that they also have to do this nation, this great honor, and let's help calm down the tension in our country. Thank you, and God bless us.